will look away from the fluffy speeches from the great and the good. I think you're starting to see the reality of the green agenda, the net zero agenda colliding with reality. In terms of the UK, we see some very worrying forecasts now, for instance, that we're going to be reliant on gas imports at 70% by 2030. We also now learn that our own energy production has plunged to a record low and that around 40% of oil and gas used now in the UK is being shipped in from abroad. So we've gone from being a net exporter of energy to a net importer. Meanwhile, of course, you've seen farmers, a huge wave of protests against uh, some of the excesses of the green net zero agenda. You saw this yesterday uh, in Westminster, farmers in Westminster calling uh, for the UK food security to be saved, urging uh, politicians to stop killing farming. And you see there uh, net zero being described as an attack on farming. But at least we're in control because the huge protests you've seen in France, for instance, uh, have led to the French president, Emmanuel Macron, having to basically go to the begging bowl of the EU, urging Ursula von der Leyen uh, to make changes to the EU Green Deal. And we know that French farmers are very angry with President Macron. On the other side of things, you've actually seen uh, Jordan Bardella, for instance, from Marine Le Pen's national rally uh, being cheered. As he pointed out, there's growing anger against the EU, the Europe of Macron, who he claims want the death of our agriculture. When it comes to Poland, meanwhile, of course, you've got the new pro-EU government in place, led by the new Prime Minister, Donald Tusk, who've actually urged the EU to embrace a plan to slash 90% of the EU's greenhouse gas emissions by 2040, a huge change from the previous uh, government in Poland. However, on the other side of things, when it comes to this so-called EU Green Deal, you've actually got Tusk pledging to push for changes. Again, like Macron, he can't actually implement them. All he can go is urge uh, those in the EU to make changes. But there were last week some more absolutely massive uh, protests in Poland from farmers against this agenda. The EU increasingly being viewed as an executioner and in terms of these EU environmental regulations, you see there the words Green Deal equals death of Polish agriculture. An organiser of the protests in Poland demanding the withdrawal of the Green Deal as a whole and the withdrawal of a whole series of measures there, including limits on all emissions, all the bans and orders. And just to give you, as I thought this was important to highlight the scale of these protests that you're seeing in Poland now, just to give you an idea of the scale of what has been going on over there, you see this involves tens of thousands of farmers blocking roads in several hundred places at last week against these EU rules and proposals. And according to police estimates, there were up to 70,000 protesters involved in blockades at 570 locations last week. So you can see the huge concern there is about this EU green agenda, but also here at home from farmers worried about the future of farming. Let me know what you make of all of that in the comments below, though, please, guys. I will, of course, keep bringing you all the latest on this and more. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.